Hi everyone, it's Nonso, and in this video, I'll show you how to create a football pitch in Power BI. Previously, I showed you how to start writing Python scripts in Power BI, and if you haven't seen that video, you probably need to check it out. So, I'll drop a link to it in the description. Make sure you go through it. Without any further ado, let's head over to Power BI Desktop and let's start writing Python scripts. So now we're in Power BI Desktop. The first thing to do is to get data. You can't create any visual in Power BI without feeding it data. So let's go ahead and get in our data. So, so I'll go here to get data from CSV file. And I'm just going to select this dummy data set, which I'll explain why in a bit. I'll explain why I call it like dummy data set. So I'm not going to transform this data because I'm just using it like a dummy data set it's not ready to work with so i'll go ahead and just load it in while that is loading the next thing to do is for you to install any dependencies or any python library you'll be working with so let's get to it now so you're just going to go to your command prompt to install any library that you know you're going to need in creating your football pitch so previously we've installed pandas and matplotlib now we need to install a uh, Python library for plotting football pitch, which is MPL soccer. So I'll head over to command prompt. So I'm just going to type command prompt. So once that comes up, I'm just going to type pip install MPL soccer and enter. So you see it's already installed here so if yours is not installed just go ahead and it's going to install successfully for you as well now once that's done the next thing to do is to add on to getting your python visual of course so i'll just select my python visual from the visualizations pane a python visual selected once you do that you know what you see here you're going to see the python script editor pop up showing you you can drag fields into the values area in the visualizations pane to start scripting so this is why i needed my dummy data set this part of it is absolutely great i can't type in anything there even if i want to except i have a field in my values area so that is just why i needed to drag in so if you have any events data any football data you could bring it in as well but you generally don't even need a data to create a football page so Let's just drag any field of your choice. Once that is done, you get this little preamble to your Python script. Let's just go through the last line of this, which says paste or type your script code here. And that's what we're going to work with. Now we want to create a football page in Power BI. And to do that, you need a set of codes already. We've installed our MPL soccer, which we're going to use. The next thing is to actually import pitch from MPL soccer. So pitch is a class in MPL soccer which you need to install. So I'm just going to type from MPL soccer, import the class, which is page. So the page should come with a capital P and then the rest in lowercase letters. So once that's done, I'm obviously trying to plot in visual here and I'll be making use of tada, matplotlib. So making use of matplotlib here it means I have to import matplotlib. So I'm importing matplot lib dot plot as plt of course we always take an alias of that so once this is done the next step would be to actually go ahead and start scripting which we've started already by the way so i'm just going to create an object which is just i'm going to call it pitch right you can call it anything but i just think since i'm creating a pitch i might as well call it a pitch so pitch and then i'm going to create that to this which is the pitch class so once that's done i'm going to create a figure which i want to be plotted on so i'm going to create a figure and axis which i'm going to plot my pitch on so i'm just going to draw my pitch here which is going to be pitch dot draw since i've already created an object i'm just going to do pitch dot draw so i'm just going to work with this 
Now, once this is done, the next thing I can do is the most important steps actually, because if I run this without including PLT or show, nothing is going to pop up here. So, guys, don't miss that, please. You don't want to like, but even if you do, at least you can always come back and realize, oh, I didn't include this. So, no biggie. So, PLT or show, let's type that in and let's run our code and see what we get. So, Look at this Python script editor. When you come over here, you see this little run icon. So this is where you run your visual. So after you're done typing in your script, come over here, click run, and watch that. Watch Power BI just generate the visual for you. Yes. So this is it. One thing first, I'm just going to turn off this title, which I don't like. Why is it telling me age group? Let me just turn it off for now. So you can see you get your page. So if you want a darker looking page you don't want a white looking page probably you're the type of person that like dark mode so you want something dark so you can as well just edit that in your page so you could come ahead here to just say okay you want to change right what do you want to change of course you want to change your pitch color so that's what you're going to be editing here so you're just going to say oh i want to change my pitch color so that's pitch underscore color so what exactly? So you can get, you can just get any color code of your choice. I found one that works well for me. It's slightly black, but it's a little bit light. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm just going to work with this and hit run again. So once that works, you see this. So let's play around with this. It feels a little bit small, right? Let's try to in increase the figure size, right? So I'll come over here. So my axis and increase the figure size so fix size let's increase it to let's say 10 5 so let's use 10 5 that should work and then let's hit run okay that they have definitely made it a little bigger right so this is our this is our football pitch in power there now so to make it stand out better i'll just modify it a little bit so i'll come over here and just some little Playing around, I'll give it a title. Let's call it what? Let's call it. Let's increase the font size. Let's give it like a 60. Let's make it big, quite big. Let's make it stand out. So I'm just going to go to my effect and I'm going to turn on visual border, turn on shadows. I'll change my visual border to a light color as well. You can leave it as black, it just depends. So once that's done, I'll tap out and you can clearly see a football pitch. So if you want this, you can as well change the alignment of the title. So let me change that to my title. So I come over here and I'm coming here, the horizontal alignment, I select center. So let's make it center aligned. Now that's perfect. So this is how you create a football page in Power BI. So it's just as easy as that. So there's so many things to do with Power BI. This is just definitely a start. You can definitely delve further with sports analysis and football analysis with Power BI. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel now. So please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. So thank you for watching.